Hi, and welcome to GF Square Gluten-Free Girlfriends, our new gluten-free cooking segment that's part of GlutenFreeRichmond.com. I'm Jen. And I'm Ashley. And in this segment, we're going to demonstrate another delicious gluten-free recipe, spaghetti squash with Ashley's special pesto sauce. And real easy to prepare the spaghetti squash for the recipe, all you have to do is preheat your oven to 375, cut the squash in half lengthwise, scoop out the guts, drizzle on olive oil, then add salt and pepper and bake for about 40 minutes. Now Now let's let's get get cooking. Awesome. Nice. (laughs) It's Jen and Ashley. Cheers. Cheers. And we are back at it in the kitchen. Going to do a fabulous recipe, spaghetti squash with pesto, tomato, and a little olive. And the spaghetti squash, a lot of people aren't familiar with. Uh, I've had it once. So you go, (laughs) girl. Okay, here's the squash. Here's what it looks like. Um, and you know it's it, really abundant in the summer and it's the fall. Right, but so. basically, the reason it's called spaghetti squash is because once it's roasted, it forks out in these strands that resemble spaghetti, and it's gluten free. Yay! <laughs> it's awesome. This is an example of what spaghetti squash looks like when it's been baked. And we are here now to tell you how to make a beautiful pesto sauce to go with our fantastic spaghetti squash, which I can I can smell right now. It smells delicious. Yep. And Ashley's own recipe. <laughs> it is. Uh, pesto is a really easy traditional pasta topping, but obviously we're using spaghetti squash today in place of our pasta. Um, and pesto really goes really well with the squash. So um, for those of you that have not made pesto at home before, it is super, super easy. We're going to start with, obviously, some fresh basil that we got out of uh, my garden. So I like to experiment a lot and try some different variations. Sunflower seeds, roasted, unsalted, is one of my new favorites. And those are very, very affordable. They smell good in the oven, too. Yeah, they toast up, and they toast up quick. Uh, we already burn one batch, so be careful of that. And then, <laughs> next, uh, is just a cheese, a hard cheese. Traditionally, it's a Parmesan or a Pecorino Romano. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna shred up a little bit. And the last ingredients are garlic, olive oil, and salt and pepper for flavor. Pretty easy. It's so easy. And really, if you have a food processor or a blender, you pop everything in, and then you whirl it up a little bit to break up all the ingredients. And as it's whirling up, you start to drizzle in the olive oil, and it really starts to incorporate some air and get a good uh, consistency to the pesto. And we're not going to turn this one on during the uh, filming because this is my, I think my grandma's. (laughs) A little loud. It's a little loud and a little <laughs> old, but it still works. Still works I'm all about that. That's right. Who cares? <laughs> Granny's blender crapped out on us, so now we have the magic bullet. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo! laughs> and we have the spaghetti squash and all the ingredients for the pesto spaghetti squash. And Ashley is actually going to show you how to do it. It's very cool. Yeah. And here, this is why it's called spaghetti squash. So we just pulled it out of the oven. It's really warm, so make sure you're, you know, wearing your protective gear or. <laughs> However, you're going to handle the squash. But you literally just take the your fork. It just makes these beautiful strands that end up looking like spaghetti. So I'm going to keep doing this, and then uh, Jen's going to tell us about our toppings. Right, we have the pesto sauce, which Ashley made from uh, sunflower seeds, olive oil, basil, delicious garlic, all kinds of so goodies. So yummy. So yummy. Yummy. And, of course, the basil out of her garden, which is uh, incredible. Right. She keeps things growing all the time. <laughs> And we also have fresh tomato as garnish and black olives, which um, always look pretty. And we're also going to garnish with uh, some basil leaves for the the final plated meal. (laughs) And the delicious uh, spaghetti squash, which it's so cool because I, the first time I heard of this, I was like, really? Yeah. And I mean, it's gluten free. It's a vegetable. It's a beautiful uh, dish. And we're going to Plate it up for you and let you know how it turns out. Yeah, and, and one other thing too, um, this obviously doesn't have to be topped with pesto. I mean, it's great with marinara. It's great with salt and butter. White I mean, clam sauce. White clam sauce. I mean, really, anything that you would put on top of pasta, it, it's a great substitute. Delish. It's Let so it simple. Melt in. And you know, a little pesto really goes a long way. It That's does, one thing yeah. that people don't think about. Yep, so start with just a little and then, um, you know, you can always add more if you want. But it really does. I mean, that oil will really help to, uh, mm. you know, get it on every strand. And if you're like me, you'll probably use an entire batch in one sitting. But look, do it to your own taste. We you put on crackers, gluten-free yeah, crackers. Yeah, we make dips with it. Remember that dip we oh, had for the party? It was so, so good. good. And this is our finished product. Delicious. 
Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, it looks good enough to eat, if you ask me. <laughs> and healthy and gluten-free. That's right. All right, well, let's dig in. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Really good. Gluten-free. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. The sunflower seeds are, I can taste them. Yeah, it's, it's, different. Different. it's a different flavor, but it's really, um, it, it's, good. it's great with squash. Mm. It's really great. Good job. Thanks. Gluten-free in the kitchen. It's Jen and Ashley, and we will be back next time with more delicious recipes. That's right. We hope you'll join us again. Sharing with you. Oh, wait. Cheers. Oh. How can we forget? How can we forget that? Cheers. See you next time. Thanks again for joining us for our cooking segment, GF Squared, Gluten-Free Girlfriends, part of GlutenFreeRichmond.com. Make sure to visit our site and join us on Facebook. If you have a recipe or idea to share or want to become a sponsor, all of our contact information is online at GlutenFreeRichmond.com. Ashley and I will be back soon with fabulous recipe ideas, wine pairings, and tons of fun. Two girlfriends cooking gluten-free. Awesome. Nice. <laughs>